what options does a project improvement professional have who's leading a project at their organization? Um, what options do they have to get coaching from outside their organization if there's nobody inside their organization that can coach them? Yeah, that's a, that's a, another good point. Uh, and, and it's a very common point, especially early on in deployments and process excellence. Um, well, the answer, straight and simple, is they have to find one. Uh, one has to be provided to them, whether they find one or if, or hopefully if someone is providing, if someone would be willing to provide that kind of a service. So you know, in the early days of EMC in Boston, Massachusetts, we rolled out uh, Process Excellence. That's a, a multi-billion dollar company with many thousands of employees. We didn't have adequate coaching. Um, Data General absorbed by EMC also rolled out Process Excellence, not adequate coaching. Um, in the early days, um, um, uh, partnership a, a partnership was uh, given uh, was granted to consulting companies that did have um, good coaches uh, because of the industries that they worked on. We're doing some work in China right now with um, uh, the development of automobiles in China, and um, uh, they want coaches uh, for DFSS that have specific skills in not only applying the tools, but applying the to deploying the tools in an automotive environment. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to buy that service for a finite period until they have such black belts or master black belts that can do it on their own with the same level of competency. Um, in, in the absence of, of partnering with a skilled consultant, uh, you can go to local quality organizations um, some organizations at EMC actually have friends and colleagues that work at, at suppliers or customers' companies or uh, just colleagues or friends that have gone through the training, worked on projects, and provided informal support early on in their career. So, uh, number one, if you, can, if you can hire a good, reputable consultant that has people that have proven experiences, experience good great if not find one yourself uh, that can be done informally uh, through colleagues neighbors um, even approaching a, a local ASQC uh, ASQ chapter uh, and the like but you have to have like you said you have to have a coach you have to have a lifeline uh, to get through um, the project or the study in a reasonable amount of time with a reasonable benefit and do it again and if you don't you're not going to be, you'll be highly hesitant in wanting to do it again. Yeah, you're not going to be as effective in doing the job. So great advice. Find uh, somebody in the organization. If there's nobody in the organization, if you have a budget, hire somebody reputable from outside. We have a whole list of Six Sigma consultants on I6 Sigma that you can look yes. to. Of course, right. you need to do your due diligence. You need to find the people that you work with that have the experience that you're looking for, that you know can are easy to interact with, with that match your style, whatever that is. In lieu of that, Join up ASQ, go to a local chapter. You might find some people there. Clearly, you need to do some networking. There's many different ways to network, as, as you mentioned. 